Well, James Troisi, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, it's good to be here. Australian football fans know of you, but interestingly enough, you've never played in the A-League before. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, um, I am. Obviously, uh, when I left Australia, um, you know, I think the year after the A-League started up, um, and I've been away ever since. Um, you know, it's, um, I'm excited to be back here. And um, as you said, you know, not many people have seen me play, um, really. So it's um, it's going to be exciting for me and hopefully for the fans as well. Tell us about your journey from leaving Adelaide as a teenager to, to venturing back to the A-League at the age of 25. Uh, well, basically, um, I from from sunny Australia straight to Newcastle. Nice winter there. Um, I uh, was there for about four and a half years. Um, after that, I went to Turkey for uh, another four years, and um, obviously last season I was um, in Italy. So it's been, uh, you know, travelled the world a bit, um, but it's been, you know, it's a good experience. And obviously, um, for me to get back playing uh, regularly, um, had a good chat with uh, with the gaffer, and um, you know, he had some good things to say. So um, I'm really looking forward to this new journey. And what do you know about Melbourne Victory Football Club? Obviously, you know. I think uh, there's no doubt, no doubt about it that it's the biggest, biggest club in the, the A League. Um, as I said, you know, today was my first training. Um, the quality is good. and expects, you know, um, um, big things from from the players and and, um, and 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 stuff like that. So uh, really looking forward to it, and obviously looking forward to getting getting to Melbourne and and um, you know seeing all the facilities. I've heard they're really nice as well, and obviously, you know, the first home. Home game is going to be about 50,000 people, so it's going to be fantastic. When the club announced that we signed you for the season, there was a huge level of excitement among the fans. Are you looking forward to, to seeing what Melbourne Victory's faithful have to offer? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, that's always always good for me. It's a good feeling for a player to you know to know that um, the fans uh, obviously enjoy enjoy um, enjoy a player and, and what he has to offer. And obviously, it's my job now to to get on the pitch and show the fans what I can do and obviously you know it helps a lot when they're supporting us so really looking forward to it. You've just completed your first session, how did you go? Yeah no it was good, um, obviously a little bit of jet lag but um, you know I want to get get straight into it and you know we only got about two, two and a half weeks left before the season starts so um, yeah no it's very good. And you've played Socceroos of course and you played quite a few times for the Oliveroos, which of the Melbourne Victory boys did you know before you arrived at the club? I knew um, Broxy, uh, Ado. Um, obviously, I know Millsy and, and Archie from the from the Socceroos, and Millsy from the Oliveroos as well. So, um, not a few other boys. So, um, but most of them, are, you know, so far I've been here, they've been really uh, welcoming, and, and it's been good. Well, James, I know I speak on behalf of all Melbourne Victory fans when I say welcome and good luck for the season. Thank you very much. It's good to be here.